Hi guys, Cam from footballboots.co.uk and today we have got a large unboxing of the Adidas Speed of Light pack. We've got some different models in it and some different variations, so yeah, let's get straight into the video. So, starting off with the Lionel Messi Pure Agility Boots. These are going to be the top of the range model from the Lionel Messi range. These are called the Pure Agility and it's because they were designed with Lionel Messi to improve agility and enhance his in-game performance. So the boots are in a blue colorway, which is the same color featured on the sock on the Mercury pack. Inside, you're gonna find a drawstring bag with the Lionel Messi logo on and the Adidas logo. Again, you're gonna get a card with all of these chrome boots to let you know that the sole is eventually gonna wear off. You're gonna get some additional sock liners with the Pure Agility writing embroidered on them. Out of the box, the Lionel Messi boots are going to be extremely soft and flexible and this is because the new agility knit has been created with Lionel Messi to improve his touch on the ball. The shock blue colourway is going to be the same as the tech fit collar that we see on this model and the previous Mercury Pack boot. There's a lace cover that's going to feature on this boot and also the Pure Chaos which includes laces underneath so you can adjust the fit to be how it wants but it gives you that option to have a cleaner hit on the ball as well as tidying away your laces. Adidas have redesigned their sprint frame which is identical to the sprint frame we found on the Messi 15.1 boots. This again was designed in collaboration with Lionel Messi and it was to improve his traction and acceleration when changing direction. Like I mentioned before the boots are very nice and this blue from the tech fit collar has been driven onto the main body of the boot with a silver striping on the lateral side and the Adidas logo in orange on the heel. Again on the inside you're going to find a Lionel Messi logo with the tech fit and agility knit writing to the side. So next up we're going to have again the Messi boots but this time in the 16.1 version which means these ones aren't actually going to feature a lace cover and it's going to feature a tongue instead. So taking these boots out of the box you can see they're very similar to the Pure Agilities. Again, you're going to get a string bag, but this time it's not going to have a separate in the middle for the, each boot. And you're going to find your sock liners again, but this time it's going to say Messi 16.1 and built to win on the side. Now, despite the Pure Agilities being the top of the range boot, these 16.1 models are actually the boot that Lionel Messi prefers and wears more, and he wore them throughout the Copa America tournament. These boots feature the new monotone construction. Again, these boots were designed alongside and in collaboration with Lionel Messi himself, and this was to find a boot that would fit him right and also improve his in-game situations. You're gonna find the Messi logo on the inside of the boot, as well as the agility knit texting with the orange Adidas logo on the heel. Now the difference with this boot is it actually doesn't feature the lace cover and it has a new monotone construction, which allows you to tighten the fit as you want it with the laces, but it still has that all-in-one feel which the Superfly Magista and the new Pure Chaos and Pure Agility boots offer. Exact same design on the boots, we've got the Agility Knit in blue which is going to stand out on the pitch and is Lionel Messi's colour. The free stripe branding remains as the same and we've got the sprint frame on the bottom, but this time it's not coated in chrome like we found on the Pure Agilities, but these are the boots that Lionel Messi will prefer to wear. So next up we've got some more Pure Agilities, but this time we've actually got them in the Junior version, which is a first from Adidas and not many people know they do them. So you're going to find the exact same as you would with the adult boots. You're going to get a string bag with a separator in the middle. You're going to get the card telling you about the chrome and you're going to get the same sock liners as a replacement. So taking the boots out of the box and again it's going to be a very similar construction to the ones that we find on the adult range. Now for the purpose of this video I'm not going to go into too much detail about the kids boots because I've actually got an upcoming video which explains all the differences between the adults and the kids version and also a comparison between the boots themselves. But looking at these boots, it is very similar look-wise to the Pure Agility in the adult range. It's going to feature the Tech Fit collar, it's going to feature the Agility knit, and it's going to feature that Sprint Frame sole plate coated in blue. This boot is going to feature the Tech Fit collar as we saw on the adult model. It's also going to feature the Agility knit, the silver branding, but this time the sole plate is actually going to be the same of the Pure Chaos. It doesn't feature the Sprint Frame, but it is still chrome tinted blue. And overall, it's a really good looking boot. Uh, kids nowadays are getting higher model boots and these boots are definitely going to be a solid option especially with lots of people seeing Lionel Messi as a desired player. So now we're going to be moving out of the Lionel Messi range and we're going to be moving into the X 16.1 range. So this time the Adidas X 16.1s have actually been given a solar red colorway. 
Inside the box, you're gonna find your standard bag with the X logo and Adidas logo on either side. So the X16.1 is to be headlined by Alvaro Moretta and David Silva. More people are gonna be opting for the Pure Chaos boot, but this is still gonna be featuring on the pitches on all the big stages. So the X16.1 is gonna be the second in line for the top model boot. It's gonna feature a lot of similar technical aspects to the Pure Chaos, but it is gonna be slightly different with a synthetic material as the base. As you can see, it's got the tech fit collar applied and it's got the all-in-one upper, which is gonna give you a closer to ball feel and also a more snug and comfortable fit. As you can see, we've got the Adidas X logo embossed on the instep of the boot and you've got your stitching going across the inside of the toe box. The sole plate is gonna be Adidas's new sprint frame with the teardrop studs to improve your rotation and traction in game. The silver Adidas logo is gonna be found on the side and like we talked about before, this colorway is an advance to the Mercury pack, which sees the red from the TechFit collar spanning all over the boots, and we're keeping that logo now in the silver that was found on the upper last time. The laces aren't going to be covered like the Pure Chaos, so you'll be able to adjust the fit that much more and pull them tighter from the bottom to the top. The boots themselves probably won't be as popular as the Pure Chaos, but they're still a really fantastic model, and it's going to feature the external heel liner for a lockdown and stability. So next up we've got the X16 Plus Pure Chaos, but this time we've actually got it in a different variation. We've got it in a soft ground boot. So inside we're gonna get the exact same bag as we always find. Now the difference is for this one, of course, it's a soft ground boot, so you're gonna get a little drawstring bag which has the studs inside. And these ones I believe are red, whereas the ones on the boot themselves are actually silver at the moment. Now not many people knew that the soft ground variation was available and it's only just being released by Adidas and it's for those players that are playing on the Sunday League pitches, especially like me in England. So the Pure Chaos is bound to stand out on the pitch and it's gonna be worn by many household names such as Gareth Bell, Louise Nanny, Thomas Muller and Kareem Benzema. As you can see on the boot, you're gonna find a stud key which is gonna be used to tighten and unscrew studs and replace them. The technical aspects are slightly improved to the X16.1. You're gonna have this sort of second base on top of your tech fit collar, which is made of a synthetic material. The Adidas logo is actually reflective and will light up when a light hits it. It's gonna feature this same skeleton upper, but this is a lot softer compared to the X16.1. But this time it's a lot more flexible and brings your foot closer to the ball. Again, the tech fit collar is embossed in the boot with an all-in-one feel for the player. The new Pure Chaos has actually been applied with NSG technology, which is non-stop grip, meaning that you can have a good touch on the ball in all weather conditions, something that the X16.1 does not feature. Also, Adidas have introduced a new heel liner which is made up of lots of small little dots to stop your foot sliding around in the boot and improve that lockdown and traction that you need. Leading on to the sole plate, we have got, of course, a new sprint frame which features these teardrop blades and then a mixture of four studs in the forefoot and two at the rear of the boot. The chrome peeling, as always, is gonna peel off over time, but straight out the box, it looks really good and definitely a bold improvement compared to the Mercury pack. Next up with the Adidas X Pure Chaos range, we've actually got the X16.1, but this time in a leather version, again, a new version by Adidas, which not many people are too familiar with. And this version, I would definitely recommend going for over the synthetic version. Straight out of the box, I can feel how soft this leather is and I personally think leather looks a lot better than a synthetic material, but you're not gonna see this skeleton sort of look. You're gonna get a softer and more premium boot, which I think is definitely worth the money and something that's gonna be more durable for players all around. So the Adidas 16.1 in the leather version is gonna be slightly different to your standard 16.1 model. It's gonna be composed of leather in the toe box, which is extremely soft out of the box. However, it is gonna take a longer break-in period, but it will be worth it over time. As with all leather boots, over time it will mold your foot very well and provide a really premium and comfortable feel. The boot features the TechFit collar the same on the Pure Chaos and the 16.1 model, and it features this all-in-one sock system, which is a lot better for lockdown, for comfort, and for a touch on the ball which will be more clean and pure. The Adidas logo is gonna be in a metallic silver colorway, and your TechFit and the X logo is gonna be embroidered into the boot, which is just in a darker red. You're gonna find the external heel counter leading into the sprint frame, which isn't chrome on this model, and it still features the teardrop studs, which is gonna improve your traction, rotation, and acceleration from turns. The boots aren't gonna be worn as much on the pitch as the X16.1 and Pure Chaos, 
but definitely if you're looking for a comfortable boot for a Sunday league match, I would choose these boots. So our final boot in the Pure Chaos range is gonna be the junior version of the Pure Chaos. Now the same with the Messi boot, this is gonna feature a lot of the similar technologies that we're going to find. You're gonna get your sock liners and your bag as normal. The boots actually to me seem a lot softer. There are some minor differences on these boots. Again, like I said, I'm gonna be making a new video about all the kids range so you guys can understand what is the differences between this boot and the adult range and also the differences between all three silos by Adidas. It's gonna feature that same skeleton upper which is really soft and flexible straight out of the box and the flashy chrome sole plate with a sprint frame is gonna be working well. The tech fit collar and pure sock system is there so you've got a better fit and feel for the ball. The Pure Chaos could be seen as a second skin because it makes you that much closer to the ball and the new laceless design with the laces underneath is really good because you can adjust the fit to how you want and I have to say that this boot will be the widest out of Adidas's range followed by the Pure Control and then the Pure Agility. Moving into Adidas's final range, I'm going to be starting off with the Ace 16.1 in the standard version. Inside the box you're going to find your drawstring bag with the Ace logo and the Adidas logo on the opposing side. Now the Adidas A16.1 is to be headlined by players such as Ivan Rakitic, Mats Hummels and Manuel Neuer. This A16.1 is actually composed of a prime knit upper and you can also get it in a leather variation too. It's gonna to be coated in prime knit and it's also the first model in the Aces history to feature NSG technology so you're gonna have a better touch on the ball in all weather conditions. Adidas have introduced this new tech fit collar, which isn't quite the same as the Pure Agility and the Pure Chaos, and it's slightly lower, which some players will prefer, and it looks quite similar to the Cristiano Ronaldo collar that you find on the Superfly 4 and the Superfly 5. Technical aspects, this boot is gonna feature a tongue which is knitted into the upper, but again, it's more adjustable so you can tie the laces to fit them how you want. The sole plate has been redesigned from the Ace 15.1 to leave four studs on the rear and seven in the forefoot. This model is definitely going to be standing out on the pitch because of the bright yellow and black colourway. The tech fit collar and the upper and the sole plate is all yellow with touches of black on the lateral and the medial side of the boot. Overall the boots are really good looking, definitely my favourite out of the range behind the pure controls. And if you're not looking to buy a laceless boot then I'd definitely go with the 16.1. Moving on to one of the most advanced football boots of its time, we've of course got the Adidas Pure Control, which is the laceless boot. Inside you're going to find your bag, which is going to say the Ace logo on one side and the Adidas logo on the other. The difference with these boots is of course you're going to get your sock liners as normal. You're actually going to get a little shoehorn to help you put on the boots because they're extremely difficult to put on first time and very unusual if you've never done it before. From a technical point of view, these boots are ridiculous. I mean, featuring no laces on a boot is crazy and was a big shock to the world when it first happened, but somehow it works and it's because of the technologies in these boots. So these boots are gonna be headlined by players such as Meza Ertzel, Paul Pogba, Deli Ali, and many more. So a lot of people wonder how these boots actually work and why your foot wouldn't slip around inside the boot. Well, this is because the three stripes here actually are connected to the inside of the boot so when you put them on, they are wrapping your foot nicely to give you a good fit. Of course, you can visually see the external heel counter, which is going to give you a bit of lockdown. And the new sprint frame again is embossed onto the outside with this chromey yellow flash finish. The boot itself is covered in yellow on the sole plate and the upper with the black stripes. And then the NSG technology is written in silver. So as you can guess, NSG is going to be on this boot, which is going to give you a better touch in all weather conditions. The boot features two pull tabs to help you put on the boots, but you are gonna need the help of the little shoehorn to get these boots on, because of course, since this boot has no laces and no tongue, this is as much as the boot is gonna stretch if you wanna get it on your foot. The fit and feel of these things is actually pretty impressive despite there are no laces. It's a huge move by Adidas, it's very bold, and I think that in years to come, this could be the norm for football boots. Our second to last pair sees our Adidas Ace 16.1s again, but this time we've got them in a soft ground variation. Similar to the Pure Chaos's, you're gonna find inside some external studs. So on the boot itself, you're actually gonna get metal studs included and attached, but in the little bag that you get, you get different lengths of bladed studs so you can switch your blades according to your playing surface. Again, there's not too much we can say about these boots because they feature all the same technologies as the standard Ace 16.1 but this time we have got it in a soft ground variation, which is gonna be better for those Sunday league matches and then wet sloppy grass pitches. 
The boot is going to feature the entire prime knit upper with the NSG technology applied and attached to a tech fit collar. The tongue is going to be attached to the upper itself underneath, but the laces are there so you can adjust the fit to fit you perfectly. As I mentioned before, these boots are probably going to be the second to widest pair out of the Adidas range. The Pure Chaos are going to be the most forgiving. These are going to come second with the Pure Control. And then the thinnest boot on the market will be the Adidas Pure Agility Messi 16 Plus boot. And our final pair of boots for this unboxing, we've got the Adidas Ace 16.1 in the kids version again. Now because they're kids boots, in this one you're not actually going to get a drawstring bag like you do with the Pure Chaos and the Pure Agilities. But the technical aspects are very similar to the adult versions. You're going to get a prime knit base that covers the entire upper and it's still going to feature that tongue system which is knitted into the upper so you've got a close feel and a comfortable fit. The prime knit skin is going to wrap the entire boot with NSG technology and the tech fit collar but this time the sole plate is actually going to be chrome unlike the Adidas A16.1 boots. This is the chrome sole plate that you would find on a pure control boot apart from the sole plate is different because we've got the pure chaos sole plate as opposed to the pure control one. It features these teardrop studs for better traction and acceleration and the boot overall is very good looking and I think will appeal to a lot of youngsters out there. Again I'm going to be comparing these boots to the adult versions in time and also I'll be comparing them to Adidas's other two silos so you guys can find out which boots are best and why. So guys that is it for the Adidas Speed of Light unboxing. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did remember to leave a like, drop us a comment telling us what your favourite pair of boots is by Adidas and also stay tuned and subscribe to see more reviews on these boots and also upcoming videos in the next few weeks. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye!